I love that. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> What's not to like about vegans? We bring you tasty food. I know. You guys are great. Hey guys, and welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe, and it'd be great if you want to like, comment, you know the drill. Don't let the length of the video scare you. It's only about 10 minutes long. The second half is all outtakes. So I just had a brand new experience. I was contacted to do a radio interview on Capital FM. Capital. The UK's number one hit music station. Now Brighton's part of Capital FM goes out to the nearly 300,000 people here in Brighton, as well on DAB to all of Sussex, which is about 1.6 million people. So this was a huge opportunity to help build vegan awareness. This was probably also my first experience with mainstream media. If you've done something like this before, you probably know it's generally on pretty short notice. I got confirmation that very morning that we'd be recording at midday. Part of the segment was also gonna be a vegan food challenge and they asked me if I could bring in some vegan food. So all of a sudden I'm skimming Happy Cow thinking what is the best thing I can bring in to represent veganism? The two places I wound up going to were the Longhouse Cafe and the Cornish Pasty Shop here in Brighton. So I got the address to the studio and was driving there and managed to get all the food, parking up on the curb because I didn't have a whole lot of extra time. And as I'm driving out to the studio, I'm looking to the seat next to me and I'm thinking to myself, that is a lot of food. I had bags and bags of it, about 10 different things in the end. Turns out I'm glad I brought as much as I did. I'll show you what happens. There wasn't a whole lot of time left in it, but I got to the studio just in time. Now this was pre-recorded for a segment to be released the following day. I hope you enjoy. So we've been chatting a lot on Capital about New Year's resolutions. Connor got involved with the show and he challenged us to go vegan for January. Technically it's called Veganuary, which I only learned the other day and really struggled to say, but you've probably seen this trending. It's quite popular at the moment. Now, I try not to eat too much meat. Dave actually teases me. He calls me a flexitarian because I kind of pick and choose. But dairy is my thing. Like coffee, tea, cheese, chocolate. I love it, I love it, I love it. Although I live in Brighton, you live in Brighton, and I'd say that Brighton is like quite a good place to try and go vegan. So right now in the studio, we have got Jeremy, who is a vegan and also lives in Brighton. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Miranda. I'm happy to be here. So you're involved with something called VegFest. Please tell us all. Basically, VegFest is one of the biggest events in the UK. We're expecting around 10,000 people over the two <gasps> days this year. 10,000 people? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's popular. Yeah, so it's in its 11th year, so we're looking to make it the best year yet. And there's really something for everyone, from amazing food to, to talks on various topics around veganism, including health talks by GPs, and really just an opportunity to get uh, people together and network Perfect. and celebrate veganism together. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. So I've got to ask, how long have you been vegan for? So I've been vegan for um, coming up on five years, <gasps> which means I wasn't for the first 32 years of my life. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. I would find it incredibly difficult. A lot of admiration for people that do it, but you know, I just said coffee, chocolate, that is my thing. Was there anything in particular which you really struggled to give up? I was similar. Um, dairy was one of the last things for me. I think people do it in different ways. For me, um, it wasn't until a few years ago that I looked into the um, animal use mm -hmm. and realized there's no biological requirement for us to eat or use animals. Seriously, is there not? Yeah, so that's, that's, that's that. I mean, animals get their nutrients um, from plants, so we're effectively filtering the nutrients through them before we eat them, so... Oh my um, goodness. <laughs> so would you say that kind of learning all that helps you stick to it? Because I'm a bad one for like trying to start a habit and then maybe not sticking to it for too long? I, yeah, I think it's that those two parts is having that information and then that motivation. For me, the ethical com uh, component is definitely the main driver and knowing that you know, if we don't have to do it and it's not necessary, why would we pay others to you know, needlessly breed and kill animals uh, and violate their rights in the process? Yeah, yeah. oh, that's, that's fantastic. Now, you've probably seen this trending. It's been a big deal over here at Capital. I feel like it's been a big deal over in the world. Rex has released a vegan sausage roll. Have you tried it yet, Jeremy? I have not. Well, from what I hear, they've, they're sold out. So you oh have to be. Oh my goodness! What? They've been selling out across the country. So I think you have to be quite strategic to get in there. I feel like vegans should get first dibs. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's been jumping on the hype and buying it left, right, and center. Whereas you have <laughs> earned the right to have the Greg sausage roll. We're we're happy to share it. Share the love. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? vegan snack if you've had a long hard day at work you're tired you come home you're gonna put netflix on and you want to really indulge what do you go for 
uh, not on a regular basis, but definitely my uh, one of my soft spots is nachos. <gasps> oh, but with vegan cheese. With everything, it's it's funny. Before I went vegan, I had a very bland version of nachos, <laughs> and now I chuck maybe ten or fifteen different ingredients and just chuck them all together, and it's really taking things to the next level 10 or 15 ingredients for nachos this is like the most most souped up nachos i ever heard of go on can you tell us what do you put on your nachos so basically i have everything in tupperware containers i chuck it out on the bench right. chuck everything on the plate and then i'm ready to go so it's you know refried beans baked beans avocados red onion well, hang on. chili baked beans on nachos <laughs> that is a game changer you think outside the box my friend that is so cool i did once try Pringles and baked beans, which weirdly did work. You're raising an eyebrow. The producers are not impressed. No, I promise. no it worked. So I hear you. That's incredible. What would you say was the hardest thing for you personally to have to give up when you became vegan? I, I think um, similar to what you're describing, dairy was the last thing for me. Yeah. And it wasn't until I looked into the, the process of making dairy, you know, I didn't realize that, um, you know, females have to be pregnant to produce milk just like us. So they're in this fourth cycle every year of being impregnated. Right. And then the male offspring aren't profitable, so they take them away from their mothers. Which and is then horrible. And a few years after that, they stop producing. Yeah. And then the mothers face the same fate as their sons and daughters do. So it's it's really that cycle and knowing that. All of a sudden, it's I, at first, I think it's uh, potential to think of veganism as a limitation. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's been the absolute op opposite and it's just been a joy to yeah. explore new things. Yeah, yeah, because you're encouraged to try different foods as well yeah. as a result of kind of originally originally limiting and therefore weirdly broadening what you would eat in yeah. your diet. I've also got to say, you are currently my favorite person because producer Alex told me that you may have brought in some food for us to try. I did. Yes! Okay, so we've got some vegan food and we've got some non-vegan food and we're going to play a little game. I'm going to try and work out which is which. So the smells, which I can currently smell, are making me salivate because this food looks so good, Jeremy. I don't even know how to describe it. Imagine the most aesthetically pleasing, Instagram-worthy food you've ever seen on your feed. That is what is in front of me right now. So you've brought me three things in particular. And something is going to be vegan, something is not going to be vegan. I've got to try and work out which. That's the one, yeah. All right, what are we going to go with first? So, yeah, we could try one of these um, tacos. Oh, my gosh, tacos. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad I strategically didn't have my breakfast this morning. If you want, you're welcome to add some lime and then... <laughs> oh, let's be classy. Let's add lime. Amazing. Okay. Of course, what I didn't think about is the fact that I'm wearing red lipstick, but it's radio, so we it's absolutely fine. Plenty of napkins, radio. Oh, and Jeremy's brought napkins, <laughs> so we're winning. Okay. <gasps> mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. That's like the right balance of sweet and savoury. I'm um, right, okay. So I think this kind of tastes like chicken, and I think it kind of looks like chicken. But let me try the other things first, maybe, before I give my verdict. Yeah? Sounds great, yeah. That's so nice. I could just finish that itself. Um, so we've also got like a Reuben-style sandwich or um, cheese and beans on toast, and then there's a dessert. So it's really up to you which three you kind of want to... Can I try this pass? Yeah, yeah. Now this is formidable. This is really big. It's got it's quite weighty as well. <laughs> it's a solid pasty. So what's without telling me if it's meat or not or you know dairy, what what is it? What flavour? It's a Thai st uh, Thai style. I love Thai food. <laughs> You're my new favourite person. Okay, right. I'm just I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna commit. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. That's the kind of thing you want after a night out. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Wait, can you come every morning? What's not to like about vegans? We bring you tasty food. And... I know. You guys are great. Okay, so we've got one more. I'll finish that later. And we have here a chocolate Oreo cake. <laughs> okay, so this has got four layers to it. It's got Oreos on top and it's got chocolate sauce dribbled down the side. My mum always told me that I wasn't allowed to have cake for breakfast, but huh, she's not here now. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the best 
thing you brought in. <laughs> that is the most gooey, squidgy, perfect Oreo nest I've ever eaten in my life. I'm going in for seconds. Oh, Jeremy, I don't know which ones. Which, I don't know. They're all so good. That's got that's got to have dairy in it. I'm going with the cake. I think the cake isn't vegan because that's too that's too creamy. Yeah, they've done a good job with it. Um, surprise, surprise, they're all vegan. You're joking. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Yeah, so I wanted to bring in a bit of a sampling of all the different flavors and textures you can re uh, recreate. And there you go. You sneaky so-and-so. <laughs> You're such a convincing liar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know who to trust now. So this is all vegan. All vegan. And where did you get it from? So I got it from the Cornish Pasty Shop in uh, um, our Garter Street in Brighton and also the Longhouse Cafe. All right, okay. Any point that you wanted to prove about vegan food being good has been proven today. I was completely fooled. This is incredible. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, thanks for having me. And, uh, uh, I think it's good to look outside of food as well um, in all forms of animal use. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. This has literally been so good. But Dave, like... They well and truly stitched me up because he told me, he was quite emphatic, that one of these things was not going to be vegan. So what I'm thinking is maybe tomorrow on the show, right, if we stitch him up, how about, okay, how about this? Little bit naughty. What if I drip feed him vegan food throughout the show in the morning? You know, just like bring in a casual sausage roll that he thinks is meaty. Maybe put a little bit of almond milk in his tea. And he'll have absolutely no idea. See if he notices the difference. And actually, he will have no clue that that has happened until he hears this playing out live on air right now. Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like that. Yeah, was that okay? Yeah. Woo! High five. <laughs> well yes, that was brilliant. That was so that was the interview. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know how you thought I did in the comments. And if you were to go on the radio and got a chance to talk about veganism, what would you say? Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. So we've been chatting. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Just realised that it's totally. That is a much better shot now. Right. <laughs> the magic of radio. <laughs> Hannah's mic. Let's see. I one. like everyone has their own identified mic. I know. Oh, this yeah, is my mic. This yeah. is my mic. Hannah's chair. mic. Ryan's <laughs> mic. Dave's mic. <laughs> right. That's some really nice bits there. I love the I love the whole nacho thing. Yeah. <laughs> just, that really made me smile. Okay, good. I could have kept going sweet corn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry, I shouldn't have kept... But once but, you said baked beans, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I've uh, got to call you up on I'm that. I'm just going to say, if you think that's out there, you know, <laughs> that's one of the things I consider tame. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, maybe we should re-record. <laughs> Get your whole shopping list. Sometimes someone that's watching the conversation is like, oh, you've missed out on something funny, you should ask. That was deliberate, deliberate. Ah, <laughs> it's really gone white. Look, Windows help support has come up. I just want to get a better shot. Oh, April Fool's must be fun around here. <laughs> and the Cornish Pasty Shop. And the Cornish Pasty Shop. And the Cornish pe And the Cornish Pasty Shop here in Wright. How do you say that? Is it Cornish Pasty or Pasty? On a computer, you don't cut in past, you cut in paste. Is that a tattoo? Yeah. Yeah, I got on here in town. It's funny talking about Brighton, like, come as you are. I never thought I'd get tattoos. I moved to Brighton. I'm like, all right. Yeah, you get like a piercing, style your hair pink. Yeah. It's great. It's such a cool place. Yeah, so I might do the tattoo convention yeah. at some point. Help yeah. them out. It sounds like they need it. Can I see? So you've got one on each side. So, so this one's... Oh my goodness, um, that's so cool. So it's after the vegan yeah, 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 definitely. But then this is the one I, I kind of I think is a bit more kind of... Yeah. Telling? I like how both the tattoos are like done so that you have to flex every time you show. Yeah. Like, of oh, these. What? Oh, what? Sorry, you want to check my. Yeah, I didn't plan ahead on that one. I'm a cyclist, so, so this is not exactly bodybuilder, but. Oh, they smell amazing. <laughs> I am salivating. Wow. None of this is. Oh. <laughs> uh, Cornish pasty? Shop, so um, that's Gardner Street, kind of more central. Okay, Longhouse is just a bit more kind of north out of town, but it's still okay. in Brighton. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, um, good landmarks, but near Hop Goblin, kind of. Oh, ish. yeah, my <laughs> oh, friend used to work. Yeah, I'm, cause I, mean... I know how to really now. We can talk yeah. in public. Which, which pub is that? Yeah. Near? <laughs> this is a chocolate cheesecake, and this is a um, 
chocolate Oreo cake, so oh. <laughs> they're both kind of. Oh, my goodness. Well, you, you although, kinda when, when I did the challenge there. last year, I ate a lot of that Oreos, but I did find myself asking, what is that creamy stuff made of if it's not made? <laughs> oh, well, creamy <laughs> stuff. Yeah. 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 What does my lipstick look like? Uh, it looks fine to me. I'm not a lipstick expert. Yeah. Mine? Yeah, you look beautiful. <laughs> really bad doing radio when you eat something that tastes as good because you just get distracted by the food. Good being able to edit. You can edit through the chews. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't have any of those. Why not? Because they're nachos. No, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to eat some of this stuff now. Yeah. So good. I just have to try some of the Yeah, go for it. I'm sorry, my massive. What too. was the bit that you were eating that looked like the uh, taco stuff? Oh, that. That one. I've had that, that one because I haven't bitten that one. This cake is incredible, Joan. This is like, this is like, you have to try, you'll love this. Hello, come in. Come and meet Jeremy. He's Hi. Food. I thought there was food. Ooh. <laughs> the email's gone now. Yeah. Yeah. This, is like, this isn't the Ooh. first time you've, you've done this, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing glamorous. It's going to be like a, a circle around you. I'm not supposed to put too much bread, so I'm just going to take it. Please is going to kill us. Oh my god. Just as long as it's not in any of the electronics. Oh, this is so good. The so cake's amazing, what? you can't what? tell the difference no, between that. Yeah, I'd yeah, say it's yeah. even nicer, you know? Oh, I've got to, I'll, let me try a bit of the cake. Yeah, oh, I have, the have cake. to try the cake. Oh, that cake looks so creamy. Mm. I'd say that's like up there with one of the nicest cakes I've ever had. Like, really? I'd go so far. I think that's... That's... Mm. You're good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although it's sweet, I'm going to need to lie down. Like, yeah, <laughs> the sugar is you. Yeah, the food comes oh, sense in. Oh. What we must <laughs> doing this afternoon. So tell me about that cake. What's, what's it made of? Um, it is 10 to 1, just warning you news people, just oh, see that, don't miss a bully. It's gone, it's already gone. No, this is the news now. Yeah. <laughs> How good is it? Oh my god, there's what? more! I know, I was just moving over here. Hang on, I know. Let me get my fork. <laughs> mm. okay, the, oh. the peanut butter chocolate caramel tart, man. You go first, go yeah, on, be my guest. Totally. Anything yeah. with that many syllables, you know it's going to be good. There's probably a ratio, like more syllables. Yeah, the taste is here. Oh no, I broke my fork. It's fine. <laughs> the sheer excitement. Yeah. 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 That tastes like it's good for me. <laughs> so we can pretend. <laughs> See, I eat really badly. I'll, I'll own up to that. And actually, mm. this is. My body's like, yes, this is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. All of it. You've ended the torture. <laughs> <laughs> All of it is amazing. Gonna... Do, you, amazing. Do, you think, do you think you'll uh, make it out to VegFest? I think so, yeah. No, I'd, awesome. I'd love to. When is it? It's the 23rd and 24th of March, the Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah, at the Brighton <laughs> Centre. I remember that. <laughs> I've always kind of shied away from vegan food. Yeah. But, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just it. I think, uh, um, like we're talking about like information versus motivation. I think mm. knowing like having this underneath yeah. to know that you can eat and still yeah. enjoy yeah. food. Definitely. Get yeah. all the nutrients you need and it's like all, all yeah. of a sudden the other stuff comes up on the social media feed or wherever and it's like, yeah. all right, so there might be something to this. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. how it was for me at least. I felt very unwell afterwards, like really mm. nauseous. Yeah. But then I carried on and <laughs> <laughs> I wish I should, I should have done it. Put up the tolerance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, that's it. I, I found the same thing um, going the other way because you get so much more fiber. Mm. It just kind of flushes out where you don't get that kind of heavy, bloated oh, feeling. Mm. Or I don't, at least as much. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely. I mean, what it's it makes sense. Like what we put into our bodies is you yeah. know, gonna make it uh, gonna affect how we feel. Literally oh, builds yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for helping. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was amazing. Thanks thank for you so much. Yeah, yeah, of course. I should have. That was really nice. Okay. You're welcome, <laughs> news friends. Like a bag of the food. Bye. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Bye. 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 Cheese and beans on toast. I'm gonna learn how to make it early. Yeah. That was some. That was some really great, really great stuff in there. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.